How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing, and we are definitely back with another banger. So please smash that like button, you guys, and subscribe if you haven't already, man. And we're going to talk some Regis Rougarou Progress versus Josh Taylor for the Muhammad Ali Trophy, you guys. It's finally come. The World Boxing Super Series has finally come to an end at the 140-pound division. Um, and this is for pretty much all the marbles. Um, I would love to see the winner of this fight fight, um, you know, Ramirez. But being at the powers that be, I feel like if, I feel like if um, Regis Progress wins, we'll see it. But let's break down the fight. Um, first off, Regis Progress is a hell of a fighter. Um, and so is Josh Taylor. Both fighters are very good. Um, they're in an elite class of their own. Both are undefeated. Um, Josh Taylor showed me a lot when he um, when he beat you know Victor Postal. Um, you know he showed me a lot in that fight. He showed me you know what he could do. He showed me a lot you know, and I was uh, I, I was I was you know I was like wow you know this guy this guy actually um, you know laid the boom on Victor Postal. I never seen Postal you know. Um, he, the way he beat Postal was was just different, you know. Put him on an elite level, in my personal opinion. Um, and I knew he would become world champion, but it was just a matter of time. Um, but at the same at the same token, he showed flaws in that Victor Postal fight because he actually got hit a lot more than I was used to. Not only him getting hit more than I was used to, he got hurt in that fight, you know, and. Um, that that's gonna be the deal breaker in my eyes, um, because he's fighting Regis Regis Progress, which does have that amateur amateur pedigree as well. But he does have he does, and I mean he does have that power. He does have that one hitter quitter uh, type of power, um, and I really truly feel that um, you know if Regis Progress were to hit Josh Taylor flush on the chin. I believe he could stop him. But Josh Taylor has power as well, too. So it's a very, very, uh, you know, down the board. It's a very, very good fight, man. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Um, me personally, I think that uh, Josh Taylor is a, a very, very seasoned uh, professional boxer. And what I mean by that is, you know, he's 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 done a lot. You know, he's, he's, he's really good, you know. And... Um, I, I, but I, I just truly believe that the power advantage has to go to Regis Progress. Not only the power advantage, I think the ring IQ has to go to uh, to Regis Progress as well, because um, you know, just just seeing him and watching him in some of those you know other fights, I believe that he did his thing. I believe he's doing well. Um, not only that, you know, you got to understand, man. Regis Progress has been in there, you know, with some pretty good you know opposition. You know, um, I'm not saying Josh Taylor hasn't, but, um, you know, there's a reason why, you know, Jose Ramirez did not fight, um, you know, Regis Progress, okay? He had ample opportunity, ample time, you know, Regis Progress waited and waited and waited and waited, and he pretty much ducked him straight up. I'm going to call a spade a spade. He ducked him, okay? Um, his handlers knew, though. His handlers knew, um, you know, what type of fighter Regis Progress was. I think Regis Progress is far more superior than uh, Maurice Hooker, um, and I just think he's. I, I truly believe that Regis Progress is the best 140 pound pounder there is out there right now. Um, you know, I believe Robert Easter Jr. is finally moving up to 140. He's gonna make a little shake in the division. Um, like I said, you still got you know Jose Ramirez, uh, but after this fight, you know, after you know Regis Progress ices. Uh, this shit out of, uh, you know, Josh Taylor. Yeah, I let the cat out the bag. I'm going with uh, Regis Progress uh, icing um, Josh Taylor. Uh, I'm going to go with 11th round knockout. Because I believe that Josh Taylor is durable, but there's only but so much your body can physically take until you just break. And I think that Regis Progress is going to break Josh Taylor. And if you guys didn't see it, go check out the gloves are off. Um, I believe those were some 
key signs as well on there. Uh, being that, uh, you know, Regis Progress didn't waver in, in anything he said. Um, and I seen a little, uh, I see, I seen a little, you know, I think uh, Josh Taylor's a little shook, man. Because he tried to look and he tried to shake uh, Regis Progress. And Regis Progress did not shake at all. He didn't bend, fold. He didn't bend, budge, or fold, you know. And I think uh, Regis Progress know that this is a, this is a, a fight to get him to that next level. You know, possibly superstar. So, uh, yeah, I got uh, Regis Progress winning, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And like I said, check me out on Instagram, at Corey Lee Boxing. And, um, man, thank you guys, man. I'll talk to you guys on the next one, man. Peace out.